We now have police dressed like Army Special Forces, driving armored tanks and holding assault rifles, the sight of which alone is enough to terrify innocent people into submission. The militarization of local police departments is not only changing the way peaceful communities once looked, it's also bringing the battle mentality to our neighborhoods. We may not see police as a threat to us now, but when peace officers are geared up like soldiers, they'll eventually act like they're going to war. is an amazing phenomenon in history. It is unique. No civilization in history ever, ever, ever was like this. It is a civilization with a mission in the world. To civilize mankind. And in the process, they seek to transform the rest of mankind into carbon copies of themselves. And as the world becomes interconnected, television is used as the master instrument for brainwashing the rest of mankind. Life is that it's now been, it's sort of, it's, it, it is not so surprising for a lot of people that there are covens amongst the very educated class architects, doctors, lawyers, priests, um, brokers, um, and the leisure class. These are people who have made pacts with the devil. That's right, they, they are, it's really the, the best, the more accurate way of describing would be that they have indulge themselves in the worship of the goat, of the prince, of the serpent, of Satan, of Lucifer. And uh, they lead perfectly, uh, they lead perfectly normal lives. They're jewel merchants, they travel, they're, they're prominent in their own way, but they do have this indulgence. Father, here's a part of that I can never understand, mm. that has never made sense to me, and that is, if somebody were to make um, a pact with the devil, mm -hmm. then obviously the, the implication is if, if the devil is there to make a pact with them, to make a deal, to make their life, uh, their short mortal life on earth pleasurable um, yeah. with, with money or women or travel. Or more or, interesting, more interesting. Or more interesting, whatever it is they want. Yes. Then they are aware of the presence of the devil and they are obviously aware then... Oh, yeah. Um, 
of the presence of God as well, and they uh, nevertheless make a conscious, stupid, short-term, blind choice to take what they can get in this lifetime. And I, I just, it, it, to embrace one, you must embrace the other. It's not like it's some wishy-washy prison. I, I know, I know, I know you do. The, the, it is a very... Uh, not easy to understand except when you talk with them when they let their hair down and peel grapes as we say and when they're, they're on their way to being cured of what they or healed is the proper word you find that there's an exhilaration and a satisfaction which is both sensual and sexual and mental when they really indulge in, in Luciferian worship, there is a, a peculiar exhilaration. Like a drug, then? Yes. You're doing really well now, but didn't you release a CD like almost 10 years ago? Um, yeah, I mean, I released a gospel record when I was 15 um, because I grew up in uh, you know, a household where all I ever did was listen to gospel music, and my parents are both traveling ministers, and so... I kind of sang about, you know, what was going on in my life at 15, and that's how I got introduced to the music industry. Because I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I sold my soul to the devil. When they really indulge in, in Luciferian worship, there is a, a peculiar exhilaration. Like a drug, then? Yes. Hypnotizing Could you be the devil? Could you be an angel? Your touch Magnetizing Physical imploding Leaves my body glowing I say Be afraid You're not like the others Futuristic brothers DNA They don't understand you You're from a so many of Hollywood's most famous actors and actresses able to be so amazingly effective and convincing in their performances. That guy was so electrifying that it came through the television. How is it that they can move us to laughter, tears, or anger at the drop of a hat? Are they truly gifted with natural talent, as many suggest? You see this and you just, you're dazzled by their talent. Do they possess a creative streak of genius that is unknown to most men? Or unknown to most men, are they in fact possessed? Is it possible that these actors and actresses are possessed by demonic spirits who have a specific agenda to fulfill? Oscar award-winning actor Denzel Washington told 60 Minutes exactly how he brings forth his best performances. Basically what I did was got on my knees and sort of communicated with the spirits and when I came out, I was in charge. Powerful scene. Powerful scene. It, it was, I couldn't have acted that. I couldn't have written that down and made a decision to play that. What, are you going to smoke that? Nope. You are. <laughs> Hell if I am. Yeah. You're Jesus free. You're Jesus free. The one-woman entertainment empire known as Oprah has strong affiliations with the demonic realm. The most familiar face on television says, You can not only use your body and physical self. This is how I see acting. I ask my body to be the carrier for the spirits of those who have come before me in a way that is most meaningful to the character. Just become the vehicle for that character. Calling out for these entities to take her over so that she may become a sparkling puppet, Oprah admits of her work before the camera. I tried to empty myself and let the spirit inhabit me. With her global influence, her shows have become a smorgasbord for the New Age agenda. Roman is a crazy boy who lives in me. And he says the things that I don't want to say. <laughs> he was born, a f you know, just a few months ago. I think he was born out of rage. He was conceived in rage. So he bashes everyone. He threatens to beat people, and he's violent. That must be nice to have, like, an ignorant loudmouth who you can just sort of blame every... He wants to be blamed. I don't want to blame him. I, I, I ask him to leave, but he can't. He's here for a reason. People have brought him out. People conjured him up. Now he won't leave. 
yes, it's a peculiar exhilaration. And of course, the, the, the godly instincts in us all, the angelic in us all, because we all have something angelic and something godly, besides everything else, uh, a lot of other negative things, uh, that is quenched. And um, uh, you find in them a horror, a, a horror of anything, what we call sacred and holy or sacrosanct. Or the idea of the, the the idea of the of the of the sacred of the awesome. Beyonce is the hottest artist on the world stage in 2013. She followed up her lip-syncing scandal at President Barack Obama's inauguration with a spellbinding performance at the 2013 Super Bowl. During Beyonce's Super Bowl appearance, the Twitter universe lit up with people claiming that Beyonce was flashing the Illuminati or Devil's Triangle. The concern was so great that mainstream media outlets tried to explain it away as simply a reference to her husband Jay-Z's record company. Of course, this simplistic approach ignored the fact that Jay-Z and Beyonce are aware that the symbol has a layered meaning and occultic or Luciferian connotations. In fact, they are not only aware of this, but as you can see, Beyonce's husband Jay-Z promotes the occult aspect of the Eye of Horus and the Triangle through his rock -aware apparel. Sadly, countless young people are wearing the Eye of Horus and have been introduced to the darkest of occult symbology through Jay-Z and his rock -aware empire. Here we see a shot of a ritual of the Order of the Temple of Astarte, a chartered Crowleyan organization which admittedly contacts demons in their rituals using the same symbol that Jay-Z, Beyonce and so many others are using. Here we also see Satanist Anton LaVey who wrote the Satanic Bible and started the Church of Satan using the Eye of Horus or the triangle symbol in his Satanic rituals. Here we see Satanist Aleister Crowley who promoted the sacrifice of innocent children and who signed his name the Beast 666 wearing the Eye of Horus in the Triangle, one of the main symbols for the Age of Horus and the coming reign of Antichrist. Crowley's favorite Antichrist maxim was, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Do what thou wilt as opposed to doing God's will became the backbone of Crowleyanity. Here we see Jay-Z with do what thou wilt emblazoned across one of his shirts. Notice also next to Lester Crowley is a book with a circle and a pentagram on the front cover. One of the most basic symbols used in the occult and Satanism to contact demonic beings as a sphere of receptivity to Satan and demonic forces, often resulting in demonic possession. Jay-Z, Beyonce's husband, knows what it means to be possessed by spirits, as he admits here, claiming that he is a modern-day Frank Sinatra and that he is possessed by spirits. I feel like, you know, <laughs> not sure. You know, I'm, in my time, you know, my day is not so, you know, I try to live up to that, you know. I get possessed by, by the spirits. I get possessed by, by the spirits. When we understand how the circle and pentagram are used at times in the occult and Satanism and take a closer look at Beyonce's Super Bowl performance, it becomes even more chilling. Near the beginning of her performance, we see Beyonce fall to the ground into what becomes a circle of light. It's interesting that after Beyonce lies down in the circle, we then see appear an inverted pentagram. The inverted pentagram in Satanism often signifies the goat-headed depiction of Satan himself. And here we see Beyonce with the inverted pentagram with the goat-headed Baphomet when she introduced the spirit of Sasha Fierce, who she claimed possessed her. Here we see the goat-headed Satanic Baphomet on Beyonce's ring. And here we see at Beyonce's Super Bowl appearance, one of her dancers adorned with an upside-down pentagram worked into her apparel. Beyonce, entering the circle with the inverted pentagram, appears to be her way of signaling that she's allowing the spirit named Sasha Fierce, the entity that she claimed possesses her and channels her during performances, to take control of her body. Beyonce has even worked Sasha Fierce into her wardrobe. The Daily Mail described her Super Bowl outfit as, quote, fierce and sexy, which was fitting for the entity Sasha Fierce. 
The man behind the design, Ruben Singer, says his creation of Beyonce was inspired by female warrior gods in Norse mythology. Incredibly, you can see what appears to be the goat-headed satanic Baphomet worked into Beyonce's bizarre attire. Later in Beyonce's Super Bowl performance, we see Beyonce represented by the Hindu goddess Kali. Kali is often associated with darkness and death and depicting with the bloody heads on a necklace of her slain. Kali is a fitting image for Sasha Fierce as she is the counterpart of Shiva, the god of destruction. Beyonce also employs the Gemini twins, seen taking up a huge part of the stage. In Babylonian mythology, the Gemini twins represented, quote, the god of plague and pestilence, who was king of the underworld, end quote. It may be that what Beyonce is depicting in the Gemini symbols, which resemble her, is a spiritual synthesis with Sasha Fierce, which would signify full-blown demonic possession. Beyonce has admitted in the past that she looked forward to the time when her and Sasha Fierce would be indistinguishable. Beyonce has expressed her desire to communicate the vibe of spirit possession in her music. She claims that she even wants a whole video to feel possessed. I want to be so wild, almost possessed. And I want the whole video to feel possessed. I want the whole video to feel possessed. Beyonce may have found more than she bargained for and ended up getting possessed by a spirit. Rolling Stone stated in one article on Beyonce, quote, A woman possessed, Beyonce is gripped by a spirit so powerful it even has a name, Sasha, end quote. Beyonce said in an extra interview, quote, I think Sasha Fierce is part of me. That's why the name of the album was I Am Sasha Fierce. She goes on to say, she lives within me. I think Sasha Fierce is a part of me. That's why the name of the album was I Am Sasha Fierce, because it's all the same. She lives within me. Beyonce claims that she is typically more reserved and cannot sing with as much power, but when this spirit entity possessed her body, it energized her vocal ability and caused her performances to skyrocket. I'm really kind of shy, and not really shy, but more reserved and um, nothing like Sasha. But I guess I wouldn't be very entertaining on the stage, so Sasha comes out <laughs> and she's fearless. You know, she can she can do things that I cannot do when I'm in rehearsal. I mean, I can try, but then it just doesn't happen. I can sing notes and sing strong and do all these things that when I'm just by myself, I can't do. And I remember right before I performed, I raised my hands up. And it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me, felt something else come into me. Strangely, Beyonce in the past has depicted herself on stage as picking up a coin with the image of her face on one side and the image of Sasha Fierce on the other. When flipping the coin, if it comes up Sasha Fierce, she then allows the spirit entity of Sasha to take control of her body. Beyonce appears to be possessed by an evil and perverted spirit of harlotry. Apparently, the spirit entity Sasha Fierce leads her into perverse and raunchy sexual behavior that Beyonce would never do if not under Sasha Fierce's diabolical influence. Beyonce has admitted, quote, When I see a video of myself on stage or TV, I'm like, who is that girl? That's not me. I wouldn't dare do that. And I wouldn't like Sasha if I met her off stage, end quote. This demonic entity is more than some alter ego, but a spirit that possesses Beyonce's body. In fact, Beyonce seems to black out and be unconscious of her body when this evil spirit takes control. She describes it this way, quote, I have out-of-body experiences. If I cut my leg, if I fall, I don't even feel it. I'm so fearless. I'm not aware of my face or my body, end quote. Beyonce says, quote, it's like a blackout. When I'm on stage, I don't know what the blank happens. I am gone, end quote. She has said recently, quote, I'm more powerful than my mind can even digest and understand, end quote. Notice in Beyonce's Super Bowl appearance that as she's emerging from the circle with the inverted pentagram, her face becomes distorted, as though she has now given her body over to the spirit she identified elsewhere as Sasha Fierce. Here we see that the normally sweet appearing Beyonce now looks like a different person, more like a man than a woman. Throughout the rest of her Super Bowl performance, Sasha Fierce's mean man face will appear as much as Beyonce's. Beyonce has admitted that this spirit is not a friendly spirit, hence the name Fierce. Of course, God's word, the Bible, reveals that when it comes to fallen angels, only demonic entities possess human beings. From the time she enters the circle with the pentagram, Beyonce's face morphs repeatedly into a demonic and evil sneer. So horrific were many of the faces that Beyonce manifested that her publicist told BuzzFeed that they wanted them to remove pictures that they considered unflattering to Beyonce, some of which you are seeing here. Satan's desire has always been to be worshipped in place of God the Creator. 
In Isaiah chapter 14, we read that Satan wanted to be like the Most High God and wanted to exalt his throne above the stars of God. In Matthew chapter 4, Satan asked Jesus to bow down and worship him. Jesus responded and said, Get behind me, Satan. It is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and serve him only. Sadly, this is ultimately what Satan and the demonic realm want. Here we see Beyonce, or Sasha Fierce, give the creepy request of asking the crowd to reach out to her so she can feel their energy. Everybody put your hands towards me. Everybody. I'm going to feel your energy. Wipe your hands with me. Come on. Tragically, the crowd is clueless as to who they are praising. May God help us to wake up to the fact that his word declares that we are not wrestling against mere flesh and blood, but against Satan and the demonic spirit hierarchy that are hell-bent on bringing as many people to the lake of fire with them as they can. Yes, it's a peculiar exhilaration. And of course, the, the, the godly instincts in us all, the angelic in us all, because we all have something angelic and something godly, besides everything else, uh, a lot of other negative things, uh, that is quenched. And um, uh, you find in them a horror, a horror of anything, what we call sacred and holy, or sacrosanct, or the idea of the, the, the idea of the, of, the, of the sacred, of the awesome. first time I, I felt something else come into me. <laughs> 